Good morning, Goldings. Today we are coming to recreate lovely starch contemporary stew. As you already know on this channel, I love to create recipes and the way she prepared her stew is quite simple and I haven't done contemporary stew in that manner. So whilst in the kitchen, I'll be taking the ingredients and the procedure from my laptop. She used spinach, but I'm going to use contemporary. I've not really seen the type of spinach she used in real life. I've seen the other type of spinach. So I'm going to use my contemporary. It has weighted, but don't worry, I'm going to get some good ones. I'm going to use garden eggs. She didn't use garden eggs, but I'm going to use garden eggs because the garden eggs is just there. It's going to get ripe and I don't want to discard this because I'm not going to prepare soup or going to use it for anything. She also used four eggs, but I'm going to go with three eggs. She used peanuts, but that's granite paste. I don't know if she used garlic, but I'll go through the video to see if she used garlic. But I'm going to use garlic, ginger, green peppers. I know she used this. She used turkey berries. She used two tomatoes, but let's work with three. And she used one onion. Her fish, she used one large kobe. And then she used two types of stinky fish. I only have one. She, of course, used palm oil and then a lot of plantains, but I'm alone and your girl is the only one going to consume this. So I'm going to only use three plants. I can't see the part she used garlic and ginger. I don't know whether she used it or not, but I've watched the video almost five times on internet, on my laptop and on my phone. But I can't actually see the part she used garden. Yeah, so let's just use it. After filming, I'm going to actually take my time and work on this and boil the leftover into the freezer. I'm going to boil the bigger contemporaries and store in the freezer. And I think I can equally boil this one and store alongside that one and use it for another kind of stew. We want to go with lovely starch recipe, so let's just avoid this. I'm using salt to wash it. After putting the cocoa beans on fire, I'm going to add turkey berries, these peppers. Oh, guys, my pepper has fallen under the fridge. My goodness. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> and then some water. Just a little. I'm going to grind my ingredients and for the grinding, you know how we Ghanaians, we do it. We take a chair, we sit down and then we grind and that's basically what she's doing. I'm also using my black earthen where I mostly use the brownish one but since she's using black, I'm also using black. So let's get our chair seated and start grinding. My kitchen is smelling good. The contemporary and the turkey berries. Oh my god, and the green pepper. Nice. Let's even take a look at that one before we even proceed with what we want to do. Ooh, see all those. It smells so good. Can't go wrong with Ghana's cuisine. Let's cover. Keep boiling. Because they have seeds, and because they have seeds, I would like to crush them into a smooth paste before I begin. Why am I even using red peppers? I am boiling peppers, right? So, why am I even using red peppers? Hey, goodness. Guys, she didn't use red peppers. I don't know. I just love pepper that sometimes I forget. But let's just use it. Let's just use it. The green peppers, you all know, it's not hot. <laughs> Half. 
my plantains, I'm coming to wash it. She washed this. So my greens are cooked. I'm coming to put it aside and then put my plantains on fire. Sorry, she didn't film that part, but I've already started filming. She just started by putting it in the saucepan. I'm coming to put it in my bag. One, two, three. She added eggs. One. I just three plantain. I'm putting three eggs. Like why? Can't I just put one, sister? Just put one. You have more money inside. You have Kobe. You have some more fish. So guys, I'm putting one egg and put the rest in the fridge. <laughs> Salt to taste. Will I wash the Kobe? Did she wash the Kobe? This small Kobe too, I should wash it. So guys, I'm going to wash the Kobe and add it at the latter part when the plantain and the eggs are almost ready. Yes, that's how I struggle to turn on my stuff. Guys, she charred her tomato and I'm coming to char my she used a skeleton to char, but I'm going to use the cover of my stainless steel. Do you see what I am seeing? Let me bring you guys close. It's actually working. I've never done this. What? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. People are doing things. So I don't even need to put it directly on the flame. Like people, I see people doing their video. It's on high flame, but it's on a low stove. I guys I'm impressed like I'm absolutely impressed look under oh my goodness guys can you hear the sizzling of the tomatoes like I hope I didn't bend this thing I'm so I'm so very excited that I hate it I should have just placed it under the, the what I just did earlier My plantain and egg is boiling, so I think we can wash this and put. After some few minutes, I'll come and remove it from fire. She didn't even add momoni to the oil, she added normal fish. She boiled the momoni and grinded it, but oh my goodness, I didn't boil it. Why should just boil it and grind it? Guys, I'm going to boil it and grind it. Incorporate the peanuts inside. So, guys, I'm working on my onion. This one, I'm going to put in the oil, the onion, and the fish. Guys, it's ready. Sprinkle. Oh my lord. Can you see that? Can you see that goodness? So all I'm doing is putting that goodness inside. So every bite can have flavors. Stay 
stay tuned for the final review. Some of my plantains got broken. She just stuck them inside. <laughs> I don't know why she did that, but it's funny to me. Put my Kobe. <laughs> have my Kobe. I have my egg. It's left with the pear. <laughs> Unfortunately, my pear isn't ripe. Oh my goodness. Yesterday, why didn't I buy the ripe ones? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Unfortunately, that my pears are not ripe to complement this dish. But we are going to consume it like that. We are going to garnish it like that. Here's the final. Review. This her final review. Without my pears, here is my final. Dun, dun, dun. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Just imagine if my pears were arrived. I did well. You're coming to big game. Father, bless this food. Bless Lovis Dutch for sharing this recipe on her channel. Bless my subscribers and satisfy the hungry bellies. Amen. Guys, this food, I'm not joking with this food. See. See the juicy. Absolutely incredible. coming along with me the link for love is touch is in my description below subscribe to both of our channels don't forget to like the video share to friends and family comment down below try this recipe because it's the best